Hello. So it's Monday morning and I'm going to work. <clears throat> it's Monday means uh, yesterday uh, it was Sunday. So I I'm doing uh, fasting every Sunday for 40 hours from Saturday night dinner until Monday afternoon breakfast lunch. But uh, this is the this is the third time I'm doing this. It's the third week. But this time this was the hardest so far. Don't know exactly why, but uh, Saturday I went out the whole day, so I came back home late. And I I had dinner very late with some leaves salad leaves and some tofu, fermented tofu. And, and so in the, in the evening when I slept Saturday night, I didn't rest properly because I went like to sleep full stomach. The day after Sunday, I went, I slept all, until I went straight to work. And And the thing is, I, this week I didn't get to meditate at all. Because then Sunday evening when I came back from work, I had to do my videos, which I didn't do Saturday because I was uh, uh, out the whole day. So even though I felt tired, I went to sleep and I couldn't sleep last night because my mind was running so fast i was thinking so much and i know why because normally uh, so the eating is a, a distraction for me talking about like emotionally and when i don't give food to my body to my emotion to get distracted from uh, the last the last resort for my emotion to get distracted is the thinking. And that's what I used to do. I used to, when I do the fasting, I used to meditate a lot. And what that does is eliminate the thinking. And then I get really to observe my emotion and clear them out with the Vipassana. But this week I didn't do it at all. I didn't meditate. Like last week, I meditate like three or four hours during the fasting. This week, I meditate zero. And I really felt it. I really... I f yeah, I really... It, it's really hard today. Uh, so I'm gonna go through another shift. Uh, a working, working shift, I mean. I'm gonna work uh, eight more hours now before I get to eat. I'm gonna get to it at 4.30 p.m. And so, yeah, but this whole thing, like, this, this time it made me really realize how lucky I feel to be able to just eat multiple times a day, anytime I want. It's just crazy. It's really crazy. And I thought I like sex, but eating is all another level. <laughs> I mean, it can take a long time without having sex. But try to stay 40 hours without having food and you realize soon, or soon enough that how important and how lucky anybody is who can just walk into a supermarket and buy pretty much whatever he wants, whenever he wants, and eat at any time he wants. It's just, it's just crazy. You know, anybody who's angry angry or upset that has that opportunity is is sick that's what i believe get to work now see you later hello so i just came back from work in 20 minutes i'm gonna break my 40 hours fast uh, this morning i mentioned a few things that might not be very clear so i want to try to explain a bit more what this fasting does for me, what is this about, why I'm doing this. 
So it's all about personal responsibilities. What I mean by that is that I believe that anything that annoys me, anything that made me angry, anything that make me suffer, it's 100% me. 100% I'm responsible for it. And I think sometime along the way of my life, I, I started feeling negative emotion in a way that I wouldn't accept it. One of the emotions is fear. And when I started doing that, I, I started distracting myself with certain substances. So very early age, when I was 17, I started smoking, drinking, and do more of that. And I kind of got used to push down my emotion by using that stuff. And later in the journey, I, you know, I quit smoking, I quit drinking, I quit a lot of things. But that habit of repressing my emotions didn't change. So technically, I'm still addicted. The only thing that the, the substance changed. So before it was cigarette, alcohol, you know, and other things now is one of the biggest one is food but the process is the same i cannot be completely peaceful and relaxed just by doing nothing and that's i think applies to a lot of people a lot of people but they just don't realize it so a long time ago i created this life where I made sure that I was distracted throughout the day. So wake up, smoke, uh, drink a coffee, smoke a cigarette, go to before work, go have a, another croissant, a cappuccino, and smoke another cigarette, and then, and so on. And, and then uh, during the day, I have my lunch, and then smoke another cigarette, and then have another coffee, have dinner, and don't go out with friends, have a drink. And this is, sounds really, really normal. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody, most of the people does that. But what I realized is that the moment I didn't have the chance to do one of those things, like for example, the moment I would be stuck in traffic and it would get late and I was hungry and, uh, and I had to skip a meal, I would go crazy, 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 ballistic, crazy. But the situations didn't change. I changed, I go crazier, I become more sensitive, I become very emotionally charged and anything that happened to me, I would go crazy. And this I realized, you know, not so long ago actually. And what I realized is that the food, of course we need the food, of course it's something that we need but going crazy when you skip a meal is nothing to do with food. It has to do with distraction. That's why I remember a long time ago when I would skip a meal, at least I would smoke a cigarette and I would have the, the illusion that they would fill up my stomach, but it wouldn't fill up my stomach. It would just keep me distracted from that feeling I don't want to feel. I don't know whether you can understand this or not. Maybe, maybe you can, maybe you can't. But that's what I'm trying to explain, that having the chance not to get distracted by anything and having fully these emotions fully come out and being able to, to deal with them, being able to be okay with who I am without tapping into any distractions, this is the training I'm doing. And so, not to make this too long, I hope this explains a little bit better, but going for me 40 hours without food and doing two shifts. So I worked Sunday evening until from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. serving food. Be surrounded by, you know, all these things that I normally consume, like, you know, drinks and chocolate and things like that. 
and then today again monday i worked another shift in the morning and ironically they put me on food means i would i, I had to prepare actually the whole thing uh so i, I dealt the whole morning with you know with the smell of the food you know and also you know it was busy so i started getting you know a bit like tense and this is all a training i and of course if anybody does that and they just get angry and they don't know what to do with that but for me i found a way to once these emotions come up i found a way to clear them out and i did this two times this vipassana meditation 10 days uh, retreat and what they taught me is how to not that they didn't teach me, they teach me, they taught me the technique, but then I taught my my body, myself to do that. And it's to observe anybody's sensation without judging them and just observing them, accepting them and be equanimous about it. So good sensation, equanimous. Bad sensation, equanimous. And what, what that does, it brings you back like to purity, like when you are a baby. And so when these emotions come up and I am able to just know that I am responsible for them, not the situation, I'm not focusing on changing the situation or trying to, you know, um, blame somebody. I, ch I focus on my emotion. I know I'm responsible. I observe that emotion. I accept it. I'm equanimous about it and then just goes, clears away. There are emotions that are coming up that they've been there for years and years and years, and I just keep cleaning them. So, yeah. This might not make any sense to you, or it might uh, make a lot of sense to you. But if you're curious about this, I invite you to, to go and check out Vipassana meditation. But unfortunately, it's not something you just can read a book about. You're just going to have to go and do the course. It's a 10 days course, it's free everywhere in the world. It's full of centers, they do that, they host that. You just need to book a little bit in advance. But uh, why am I speaking this in this 120 days to freedom? Because this is the ultimate freedom. This is, this is the real freedom. What I'm trying to do is achieve, achieving some financial freedom. But eventually, even with financial freedom, you, you will be caged but this emotion, you will be dependent on situation and people to feel good. And you don't want that. You want to be independent. You want to be 100% responsible. And that's what I'm trying to do. In the same time, I'm trying to achieve financial freedom because that gives me power. Because if I'm 100% responsible over my life, I have the 100% power over my life. And that is, it makes really the difference. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna now. I got some dry fruits and I've got some salad to eat after that. I'll break my fast in a few minutes. I know I lost some weight. I can tell. The last, the next week will be the last one. I'm gonna do this. Then I don't know what other things I'm going to do. But that's it for today, really. Take care. Bye bye. Oh my God.